Okay, in this segment, I will talk about finding the hydrostatic forces and center of pressures for a semicircular section over here and a full circular cross section over there. Okay, and these are observation windows on the side of a water tank. And this whole thing is filled with water, and this is open to atmosphere, so basically the pressure up here will be P gauge, which will be zero. Okay, as you can see, this is a lot of effort. And what I will tell you is, well, I'm asking you a question, actually. You see, this is a whole circle, and the centroids are exactly at the same height from down to here. So then I can simply go and say that this, as this is half of it, will get the half of this force. Is that reasonable? So I will obtain my force in here and divide by 2 so that I can get this force, because it's symmetric, right? It's just the half of it. Well, that's really bad, what I just said. Okay, that's absolutely wrong. So, and I will show you. Only thing that you can say is, actually, it will be less than half. If this was a full, it will be less. Because as you see here, the pressure here is less than pressure down here. Okay, so this bottom half will be exposed to more force than this. Okay, so let me stop and go ahead with this easier one. Okay. Let's start put axis over here, the traditional way. Y is like that, and Z is pointing up to be consistent. Let's go ahead and calculate this one, uh, the circular one. Let's draw the circle. And it says that this is one meter over here. Okay. And if you remember from figure 2.18 from Manson Yonko Kishi's book, you will see that, as you know this part, pi r squared, but you may not know this part, so i x comma c will be pi r to the 4 divided by 4. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. So the only force that I will obtain will be like this, right? It will be a little bit below the centroid. Um, obviously, it's a distributed force, but the hydrostatic combined pressure force is just one force a little bit below the centroid of the circle. So now my goal is to find that, and you can see in here that let's call this FPC circular will be equal to Fy times J. And the question is how am I going to obtain Fy? And I'll show you, I showed you in the previous segments three separate approaches, and this one I will be going ahead and using formulation method. So basically what I'm going to do in here is I will find like this, the specific weight times Hc times the A. The specific weight is 9800. What is Hc? Well, let's take a look. So from surface, I go down one meter, and then in order to obtain the centroid of the circle, which is at the center, right? So this is one more meter, so this whole thing is two meters, right? So that will be two meters. How about the area? That's going to be pi r squared, but I, r is one. So I got myself 9,800 times 2 times 2 pi. And if I go ahead and calculate this, I will get myself Fy as 61,575 newtons. And if I go ahead and write this in kilo newtons, I will get myself 61.6 .6 kilo newtons. So this is the answer for the FPC. And if I write it properly, my FP circular will be 61.6 .6 kilo newton in the J direction. Also I ask what is the center of pressure for this and there's a formula we discussed this multiple times yr or yp will be equal to yc plus i x comma c divided by yc times a. I'm sure you know this by now. yc is already something that we obtained it's over here so that is 2 so that will be 2 yc is 2 again the area will be pi r squared, which is 1 squared. Ixc is something I write over here, and it's pi r to the power of 4 divided by 4. So that will be pi over 4, and r is 1, so 1 to the power of 4. So double check the units to make sure that this is, as I'm adding something with respect to length, this needs to be length. This is length to the power of 4. This is length, this is length squared, so this is length to the power of 4 divided by length to the power of 3, so we're good. And you can see over here, these pi's cancel out. And what do I get? So I get myself, this will be equal to 2 plus Ixc um, 1 over 8, right? And this 1 over 8 is 0 0.125, as you know. So this will be 2.125 meters from the surface. So let's go ahead and draw this as much as I can. 
let's say this is the free surface up here this was yc which is 2 and this now turns out to be in the x direction it will be at the center and you can see over here this is 2.125 which means this distance this extra distance over here becomes 0 0.125 so this was you know the first half of the question okay so now let's proceed with the second half of the question so this is two this is one okay so I will that should do it for now so let's redraw this I will get something like this this is the semicircle this is one meters um, and then it's two meters so basically if this is the free surface I have one meter over here and this is the free surface that I have so now what I have to do is I, I actually have to revisit figure 2.18 this time around it's more important than the other one um, and it gives me obviously I know the area part you know the area part is going to be pi r squared over 2 so that part we know because it's a semi circle and then the next one is i x c so this part is important that will be 0 0.11 r to the power of 4 and then one other thing that I need is where is the centroid because the thing is the centroid is not over here think about it it's going to be a bit above it right but it's not going to be halfway because there's no symmetry in this direction up and down bottom half so they're not symmetric so it needs to be something over here okay and remember this is the x direction this is the y direction and this distance is given in your book to you and you may even remember this from other courses 4r divided by 3 pi okay so this information is necessary for me to solve this question and then what I do is I do the same thing as the first half of the question I say that my FPS semicircular will be this time around. let's go up and uh, take a look now the force will be like this right it, it will be in the X direction f of x in the i direction let's go ahead and calculate f of x so i'm going to use similar f of x will be specific weight times 8c times a specific weight is 9800 let's look at 8c okay so this needs some explanation right over here right so you see this distance is 4r divided by 3 pi but this whole thing from here to here is 2 meters so then my goal is to obtain this distance right from here to here is the goal that I have because that's what the origin is defined as right so that will be this this distance is 4 over 3 pi and this whole distance is you can see 2 meters then this distance will be 2 which is 8c right this is 8c so this will be 2 minus 4 over 3 pi okay from up there from the orange uh, color and if I actually put this in my calculator, because I'm going to need this when I calculate the YR or YP, you will see that this will be 1.575. And then my area will be pi r square over 2. So if I punch this into my calculator, you will see that I will get my FX as 24,245 newtons. And if I convert this to the kilonewtons, I will get myself 24.2 kilonewtons. So at the beginning of this module, I said that, hey, is this is looking kind of symmetric, so I can just divide this by half. Look at it. This FPC or FY in this particular case was 61. So now at the top half, I got myself 24, which is less than half of it. So you can see this is lower than that. That makes a lot of sense to me, okay? Because this is exposed to less of a pressure than the bottom half of the circle. So I'm doing something right over here, okay? So you can see in here, if I go ahead and write, my FPS will be 24.2 kilonewtons in the I direction. So this will be my final answer for this component. One thing missing is where is this force acting? Let's calculate that same formula yr is equal to yc plus ixc divided by i get myself yc times a 
YC is this orange font over there, so that is 1.575. IXC is given to me, I wrote it for you, it is 0 0.11 times R to the power of 4. Area is pi R squared over 2. And YC is 1.575. And if I go out and calculate my YR or sometimes YP, it will be 1.575 plus. This will be 0 0.045, close to 44, 45, doesn't really matter. So if I just add them up, I will get myself 1.62 meters as my YR distance. Okay, so let's take a look whether it makes sense or not. Um, okay, so you see HC or YC in this particular case, I have this as... 1.575 so now this is 1.62 so that makes sense to me because if I look at it now it will be right here something like that and this distance that I have will be 0 0.045 meters again it, it fits my expectation so it's a little bit lower than the centroid and it is in the x direction it will be right at the center because it's symmetric in here I'll get a i x y c is equal to 0 okay